Okay, so you've just completed a shoot and you are now the proud owner of a couple hundred gigs of footage, uh, or for our purposes here, a single clip. So let's get started. So first, you're gonna take your SSD out of the camera and you're gonna load it into the Seagate GoFlex Thunderbolt adapter. Uh, this is about $100 and it's the best way I know of currently to unload your footage from the drive. Uh, there are other options available, but if you don't have a Thunderbolt connection, it's just gonna be really slow. Um, so we can start backing up our files, but if you're like me and you like to live on the edge, I just start rendering out ungraded proxies straight from the drive. Uh, and DaVinci is actually really great for that. So let's go ahead and get that fired up here. So we're gonna find our footage in the library right here. And click and drag it right down to the media pool. And if you see these tabs on the bottom, we're just gonna skip straight over to the delivery panel. Now I have a custom preset saved here for just this purpose, and I've called it low res proxies, which they're really not because they are full 1080p. Uh, I'm just going to set a destination for our proxy. I'll just throw it on my desktop for now because I'm a slob. And so we'll click add job, click continue, and then we can hit start render. Now obviously I have a screen recording going here, but normally my computer allows DaVinci to render around 14 frames per second. So if we have an hour's worth of footage, it usually takes a little less than two hours to render proxies, which is really not that bad. So once the proxies are handed off to the editor and the rough cut is finished, I get an EDL that tells me what clips have actually been used. Then I can go back to my raw footage and create a new folder of clips that are now ready for color grading. And that means it's time to fire up After Effects. So unlike Premiere, After Effects does support Cinema DNG. We're going to import our file. And all you need to do is click on the first image in the folder and make sure this box down here that says Camera Raw Sequence is checked. Then click Open and nice. Now, this is really exciting. My background is in photography, so using Adobe Camera Raw to edit video just blows my mind. And I now have access to all of the controls and all of the tools that I'm already very familiar with. So I'm gonna save a more detailed look at Adobe Camera Raw as it relates to dealing with the black magic in post-production uh, for another video, so stay tuned for that. For now, I'm just going to make a few quick adjustments and click OK. And we see that our DNG sequence is now in our project bin. At this point, make sure the frame rate is correct and that you're also working in 16-bit. I believe After Effects has defaults for 30 frames per second and 8-bit, uh, but we are all good here. So I'm just going to drag this down to the new composition icon here, and that will obviously create a new comp for our clip. But the grading has already been done, so we're just going to add this to the render queue. And you can see that I have mine set to a preset output. If you want to change that, just click right here to bring up the output module settings. And you can change this to H.264, MPEG, QuickTime, or whatever you want. Once that's all good, just hit OK. And then we can start the render. If this were a sizable project, this is definitely something I would set up to do overnight. But that's basically it. You just hand off those renders to your editor and then they can just replace the files in the project folder. Um, I render out high quality ProRes 422 uh, files so that if any minor tweaking has to be done in the nonlinear editor, we can do that without having to render out an entirely new set of clips from After Effects. So this may seem like a lot to deal with, but in reality it's not that bad. To me, the joy of being able to grade raw footage is absolutely worth the extra little bit of hassle. So hopefully this was helpful, and if it was, definitely stay tuned for the next video in which I'll take a little more of a detailed look at color grading in Adobe Camera Raw.